I don't think of myself as a writer. I think of myself as a storyteller. I, I think of myself as a teller of stories. I have 10 produced features and uh, several hundred hours of television and uh, this will be my sixth published book. I always came back to writing prose. I was blessed with the people in my life and I was blessed to am blessed to be the father of three remarkable sons. Uh, the oldest boy, uh, Zaki, was um, extraordinary in every way um, and was blessed with everything in life except the gift of years. My oldest son had been killed at the age of 22. Loss doesn't come into the picture when I think of Zaki. I think of uh, of an ongoing dialogue uh, of incredible sweet memories, but more than that of, oddly, uh, more than that of an ongoing dialogue, which, ha which hasn't ceased. There are certain things that I see, and I won't get into why, they fill me with my son's essence. But when they do, they fill me with nothing but joy. Nothing but joy. The title of this book is Postcards from Heaven. They refer to those moments where you receive a message or a communication from someone who has gone to the other side of life. If a coincidence happens, you can choose to say that's just a one in 10 billion chance occurrence that there would be that song on the radio when I needed to be reminded of the love of my father and the moral teachings he, he gave me. Or you can say, damn, that was dad looking out for me. And, and what was he trying to tell me that I can use right now? These aren't letters. They're not weighty tomes. They're not uh, detailed messages. They're very brief and they're fleeting. They're really like postcards. And, and the notion was that the, the message really is, is always pretty much the same, which is, got here safe. It's really, really beautiful. Much love till we meet again. I hope the book is immensely enjoyable, makes people laugh out loud, at times brings a tear to their eye, touches their hearts, and leaves them feeling wonderful and full of wonder.